Hey cuties, so in today's role playing video, I got tickets to see Taylor Swift. Refresh, girly! I did refresh Sky. It didn't change. Refresh again! I did! Refresh, refresh, refresh! Sky, screaming refresh in my face over and over again isn't exactly refreshing. Look, I know, but this is Taylor Swift tickets. We only have one chance to get this right. And you know how it works. If we miss the cue or the exact time that they posted, we'll miss out on the entire show. The fact that Taylor Swift is coming to Brookhaven in the first place. The tickets go live at midnight, so we'll be sitting here right in front of the computer at midnight. We have an alarm clock set, snacks, drinks, and a blanket. We've got to make the waiting experience as comfortable as possible. And I have this just in case. What the heck is that thing for? Well, you know when you're buying tickets online and there's always that tiny jumbled word in the corner that you need to de-scramble in order to prove that you're not like a robot? Well, this thing can see it more clearly. Wow, that is detective level thinking, Sky. I'm impressed. Like I said. Nothing is going to get in the way of us getting these tickets. Now, come on. Let's keep refreshing. Girls, don't stick too close to the computer. You're going to burn out your eyeballs. Oh, our eyeballs are just fine, Mrs. McKenzie's lady mom, ma'am. As long as our ears are okay to listen to all the sweet lyrics of Miss Swift, we are good to go. What are you girls doing anyways? Taylor Swift tickets for her Brookhaven show are live at midnight. And we need to be the ones to get those tickets. Failure is really not an option here. Don't you girls have homework to do? Well, sure we do, but... I mean, priority. We're gonna have homework every night for the next 180 nights. But when are we gonna see Taylor Swift again? I really don't like the idea of you girls sitting glued to the screen for the rest of the night. Well, you better get used to it, Mom. Because we have the confirmation email that those tickets are ours, so we're not moving. As the time starts getting closer, we're gonna start eliminating bathroom breaks, which means cutting back on liquids. God forbid one of us freezes when it's time to jump on those tickets. We need to at least make sure the other one is ready. Okay, you two are officially crazy than people waiting outside on Black Friday in negative temperatures. Sky, your mom just called and was wondering why you're not picking up your phone. Oh, I put it on Do Not Disturb. I can't risk anyone calling in. Okay, well, I'm here to tell you that she needs you at home so you can have your Taylor Swift stakeout from there. Ugh, fine. Sorry, girly, but as soon as I get home, I'll go to my computer and we can have plenty of time to get the tickets. Okay, Sky, but run. Don't walk home. Run. Many hours later. <sighs> Who got this? Only about an hour and a half left. Who cares that your left butt cheek is asleep and that you can't even feel your feet? Just keep those eyes open. Ah. Wait a second. Is time going in reverse or maybe it just feels that way? You know what? It doesn't even matter because once Sky and I are serenaded with Taylor Swift, that'll be the only thing that we care about. Nobody ever looks back and regrets how long they waited for something so amazing, but they regret not doing the amazing thing. Mackenzie, it's in the middle of the night. What are you still doing here? An hour and a half to go, Mom. Hey, Mom, I almost forgot to ask you, uh, is it normal for your retinas to burn after a while? Yeah, no, it's not. You have been sitting at that computer screen for far too long. I don't see why this is such a big deal. You listen to her enough in the car and in your room and walking around the house. It's all the same music. You just don't understand. Her music speaks to me. She just gets me, Mom. And have you ever been to a Taylor Swift concert? It is said to be the best three hours of your life. I mean, who else puts on, like, three-hour concerts where they sing, like, 50 songs? If she can do that every night and not ruin her vocal cords, I can certainly wait up for one night. Well, Taylor Swift's vocal cords are not my concern. You're getting enough sleep so you can focus at school tomorrow is... I'll be fine, Mom. It'll be one night. And besides, I'm sure everyone else is doing the same thing. The teacher would be crazy to make us do actual schoolwork tomorrow. You think the teacher is gonna go soft on you guys tomorrow because Taylor Swift tickets are out tonight? Well, yeah, don't you? Okay, tell you what. I need you to go to bed, get some sleep, and I'll keep watch for the tickets. When midnight comes, I'll come and get you. I, um, uh, I don't know, Mom. It's like a really big responsibility for you to go and get these tickets. I don't know if I'm comfortable with someone else getting them for me. Mackenzie, I raised a child. I think I can handle getting Taylor Swift tickets. Okay, but remember, when the time comes around and you're in the queue, you have 30 seconds to secure the tickets, and then you're out. I got it, honey. Just go into your room and get some sleep. Okay, thanks, Mom. You're the best. The next day. Okay, I know I gave you a hard time, but that was literally the best sleep of my life. Thanks, Mom. Yeah, yeah. No problem, honey. You are literally like the best mom ever. I can't believe you stayed up all night to get me the ticket. I mean, you slept in a chair for gosh sakes. It's a parent's sacrifice. Hey, so do you know what section we're sitting in? Um, uh, I don't know. Let me check. <gasps> that wasn't a good noise. What does that noise mean? Honey, I am so, so sorry. I didn't realize that I fell asleep. I just closed my eyes for like a second and I didn't realize I'd slept through it. Sold out? No! This can't be happening. No, 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 no. I knew I should have waited up myself. Darn me for sleeping so comfy in that bed. At what price? I'm sorry. I really am. I didn't think I'd fall asleep, honey. Honest. 
What is the point of going on after this? Life is so cruel and unforgiving. This is it. I have reached the bottom of the barrel. Oh, come on, Mackenzie. I know you're upset, but I think even you have to admit that you're being a little bit dramatic. Dramatic? Oh, no. On the contrary, I don't think I'm being dramatic enough. You see, if I was Taylor Swift, I would write about how devastating this moment is and how it's gonna impact me for the rest of my life. And then I would sing it to you. But you see, Mom, now I won't ever be able to get to meet Taylor Swift. And I won't be able to tell her my life story, so I'll never get to sing her the song. Ah. What did she just say? Meanwhile. So, girly, tell me everything. What role are we in? What section? Did she get my lucky number? Wait, don't tell me. I want to guess. Actually, no, go ahead and tell me. Wait a second. You don't look like a girl who just got Taylor Swift tickets. What's wrong? My mom told me to get some sleep and that she would stay up all night and get tickets for me. But you told her no because you needed to make sure that you got the right ones. And moms and computers, they don't always mix, right? <laughs> Mackenzie, right? Tell me you said that. Look, I was really tired and my mom said she would, but then she fell asleep. She fell asleep? And now they're sold out. And now they're sold out! Please, please, guys, stop. Stop repeating everything I'm saying. Trust me, I'm just as devastated as you are. No, 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 girly. This cannot be happening. We need those tickets. I know, Sky. I've been working damage control all morning long. They're giving out two tickets today on the radio station at lunch. All we need to do is call in, and then we should be good to get them. Should be good to get them? That is not good enough. Think, girly, think. I am thinking, and this is the only thing that we can do. I mean, the Brookhaven News is giving out some tickets, too, but only... 100 people online, so we'd have to be there lining up, like, right now. So? Well, so then we'd miss school. Do you really think our parents would let us go to a concert that we ditched school in order to go get the tickets for? Well, maybe they'll understand. Sky, you're a smart girl. I think you can figure out that one yourself. So what do we do? Sit back and do nothing? Well, no, we're not gonna do nothing. We just need to call the radio station at lunch, and that's our best bet. One hour later. And in conclusion to what I was saying... <laughs> And that must be the lunch bell. If you could all hang on just for a second, though. I'm just going to finish explaining how this problem works, and then you guys can all go to lunch. So sorry, Mr. Teacher Men, sir. It's lunchtime, and the radio station is waiting. Sorry to run out, but Taylor Swift calls. Taylor Swift is calling them? A few moments later. Everyone, make way. Clear the space. We're coming through. Guy, look around. There's literally no one here. Sorry, girly. I guess I got a little caught up. This is crunch time. <laughs> Thank you for calling into the Brookhaven Radio. I am now on the air with... Mackenzie! Tell them how you are, girly! Shh, Sky, I got this! Mackenzie, how are you today? I'm very good, but I will be a lot better once I get some Taylor Swift tickets. Ah, uh, I see. And that is what you're going for. Yes, Mr. Radio Man, sir. Okay, well, here how this is going to go. I'm going to play you a noise, and in order to win the tickets, you're going to tell me what noise it is. Sound good? Okay, that's definitely simple enough. I'm ready. Okay, Mackenzie, what noise is this? <laughs> Uh, help me, Sky. What is it? I am very sorry, but help me, Sky is incorrect. No, 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 that wasn't my answer. That wasn't my answer. I'm sorry, but we have a whole line of other callers waiting to give their answers. Better luck next time, Mackenzie. How is this happening? It's okay, Sky. It's gonna be okay. How is this gonna be okay, girly? We have officially used up all of our options. This is it. We're doomed to die alone in Taylor Swift's Liz. Meanwhile. Okay. Falling asleep, but nothing is gonna keep me from getting my daughter's tickets to see Taylor Swift now. Hey, hey, no cutting back in the line there, girly. Ugh, whatever, old lady. Wow, Mackenzie wasn't kidding. These fans are cutthroat. If I let anyone get in front of me, I won't be the first 100 people in line, and we cannot have that. They're calling me next. This is Laura from Brookhaven News, and you are our next lucky winner in line. Let me guess, you're here for some T Swift tickets? I sure am. I kind of dropped the ball horribly by falling asleep when the tickets first came out. Oh no, how tragic. Oh, trust me, by the reaction I got, you would have thought I killed someone. Well, no worries, because here are your Taylor Swift tickets. Later that same evening. Oh, hi, honey. How was your day? Ugh, I thought we would have a chance to win the tickets over the radio, but I was so dumb. I said something before muting my phone, and I literally ruined everything. Why am I like this? Am I just gonna die before I get to see Taylor Swift perform live? Man, this is all my fault. Well, these might make you feel a little bit better. Granted that you don't die before you get them. Oh my god. Mom, you didn't. How, how, how did you do this? Well, I felt really bad for messing up your tickets last night, so I took off work and waited in 